Chapter 1 What happens when advanced alien war machines crash into ancient civilizations? Zalo's quest throws you into this wild scenario as a powerful robot facing off against Cleopatra's Egypt and Caesar's Rome. This top-down side-scroller lets you command robot armies while battling legendary historical forces with nothing but swords and bows to defend themselves. With voice acting, cinematic cutscenes, and three main levels spanning two character classes, it's designed as a memorable lunch break adventure, where the clash between sci-fi tech and medieval warfare creates a unique battlefield as metal meets history. Number two. From the creators of RimWorld's Combat Extended mod comes Ascent of Ashes, a game that combines deep colony simulation with tactical combat in a post-apocalyptic world where every decision matters. Your survivors need more than just shelter. They need vehicles to explore procedurally generated biomes, detailed combat strategies where suppressive fire and ammunition management are crucial, and careful colony leadership to keep everyone happy and motivated. And each survivor brings unique personalities and motivations to your expanding base as you brave pre-collapsed ruins. Built by modders for modders, the game emphasizes strategic gameplay and tight balance while offering extensive mod support. An abandoned space station holds secrets waiting to be uncovered. No Signal delivers an emotional sci-fi mystery through its innovative PGE IST remote viewing system, letting you freely explore 3D environments from impossible angles, move through walls, examine objects from every perspective, and piece together the lives of missing researchers through conversations, logs, and journal entries. This point-and-click adventure tackles themes of loneliness and meaning while challenging you with increasingly complex environmental puzzles. It's a freeing way to experience the station that turns every corner in hidden space into potential story elements and an introspective journey through abandonment. It's cozy, it's a farming sim, and it's becoming more and more popular. Mr. Farm Boy combines adorable farming simulation with satisfying automation systems that let you build your dream agricultural empire. Start by planting and harvesting crops manually, then gradually hire farmers, gatherers, and carriers to handle the work while you focus on expansion. Raise chickens, pigs, sheep, and cows in custom-built shelters, construct markets and bridges, then attract villagers who will buy your goods. The charm lies in watching your automated systems work perfectly while you relax and strategize your next optimization. It's farming without the stress, automation without the complexity. By the way, if you're itching to do a Gato Game Jam, I've got good news. The Indie Den Gato Game Jam starts today, and you've got until September 4th to submit your game. The jam is sponsored by the Indie Games subreddit and the Indie Den, and I'm gonna be a judge, which means the best games will get featured in a video just like this one on the channel. So check out the link in the description to start jamming. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Dog Walk. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. Grid-based strategy meets Space Rebellion in this unique blend of genres. Project Fleet has you raiding planets roguelike style while constantly evading the Empire and managing four distinct spaceship classes on tactical battlefields. Gatherers boost your shields, fighters consume shield energy for attacks, supporters provide steady damage, and factories generate resources and money. With 12 different planets across six difficulty levels, numerous random events, and formation bonuses for smart ship placement, every raid is designed to feel different. Trade with NPCs, expand your base, compete in online leaderboards, and build your reputation as a rebel fleet commander worth fearing. 